Guys, listen, I'm going to take a 45-minute break while I do all my daily bunching of buttons. <laughs> Bubba Joe will be back in 45 minutes. Oh, Bubba Joe will be gone in 45 minutes. We're going to go check out these Zindi hostels. We've got some great data to share. This one right here, Bubba Joe is going to tell us where we got to go. And ladies and gentlemen, Blue Mandalorian making his way into the stage. What's up, Blue? How you doing, man? How's it going? <laughs> here's what I want to do, Blue. I'm going to get crazy. All right, I know these things are going to kick my butt, right? But here's the thing. I'm an Ops 56. I'm a G5 player. So I'm going to start with a level 51 hostel. Is that crazy? That's not crazy at all. Really? Okay, we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, Zindi, here we go. We're gonna hit, we're gonna try to hit a 51. Lots of weapons, yikes, okay? <laughs> Lots of weapons, six different weapons of which five are kinetic. Holy smokes, 139 million in power. Let's take a look. Wow, they're all doing a lot of damage. Six million per shot. So we've got, uh, we've got, a ship flying into the 46 level system. So we see interceptors, we see explorers, we see battleships. So all three ship types. Let's take a look and uh, first take a look at their abilities on combat start. All damage this hostile deals completely ignored shields. All right, cool, cool. And next at the start of the round, this hostile reduces player critical hit damage by 500% for two rounds. Now, hang on. Bubba Joe, this says at the start of the round, it's yes. going to reduce crit damage by 500% for two rounds, which means this thing's going to stack to 1,000%. All right, so we've got to take... I've got Hugh under here, but we got to take Hugh off. we got to take Hugh oh, out of yeah. here. First things first, you can't do crits here at this early stage. Not until we start working on our crit damage floor. Yeah, until then, you hit a critical hit. You're just going to see a big fat zero damage. My criticals appear to be working. Really? Oh, you've got over a thousand percent then. Yes. Yeah. Let's throw Mariner under here. There we go. Okay. You guys are saying to use a loot crew, so that's fine. We can do that too. All right. Let's head back. Here we go. A level 50 system. No favors, by the way. Critical hit damage being reduced by a thousand percent, so we got to let that go. Let's take a look at our stats here. 75 million on a level 50. Not too awful shabby. DPR, 38 million. Wowzers. Hull health, 47 million. Shield health, 31 million. Let's just see what happens here. We're going to go take one out, and we're going to see how bad it, it thwomps me, because I bet it's going to thwomp me. So, I did indeed kill idea. it. That was squishy. I took no damage. I killed it in one round, so we need to go bigger. Let's take a look at what it, what it threw at us, though. So here was a 2.5 million shot, 2.5 million shot, then a 2.5, a 2.5, and then it died. He took no shield health damage. Hey, yeah, that's great, right? I took no shield health. So, by the way, what does that mean? What crews are automatically, like, off limits? Is Janeway going to do me any good on a on a hostel like this? Uh, Strange New World, Pike. Yeah, those are going to be out. Janeway could be isolytic on the side card, but not in the captain's chair. Isolitic. That's right. Her isolytic would be fine, but the mitigation is going to be out. We're going to pop up one, Bubba. There is a huge difference in base loot from the 50 to 51, but I bet you showed us that already, didn't you? From the 50 to the 51, 370 to 396 up to 1100 to 1200 so a huge jump there from 50 to 51 all right coming in to the 51 also killed it and i took no damage let's take a look at the battle log on that uh, i say took no damage i did take a tiny little bit uh we still only went one round bubba joe but this time the zindi ship got off six shots so what are you telling me? Uh, what are you telling me here, Blue? That weapon number six is the go-home cannon? If you lose, you don't make it to round two. All right. So weapon six must be our go-home cannon. So far, I've only made it through three weapons. So let's punch up to a 53. Let's check it now. Go. Ah, I died on that one. Oh, All right, chance. there's my go-home. <laughs> All right, so I survived on the 51. Now, I want to I point this out. On the 51, This is and this is obviously just for me, but this is how... 
much difference this makes. On the 51, there's barely any red there. I pretty much took that out. I took it out after it had fired three weapons at me. Total of six shots. When I go up to the 53, though, two, four, six, eight. Oh. Wow, these are big shots. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, there is that go home cannon. 100, go, 100 billion on the go home cannon, which fires six times. This is not a go home cannon. This is a GTFO cannon. That's right. This is a get wrecked cannon. <laughs> oh, this is good. All right, so there's what you're looking for, guys. That is weapon number six. All right, so we died. We came home with some scrap. Let's take a look at our refinery here real quick. Is there a refinery, or does it? do I do everything through the faction store? 1250 export rep, a chance at these common export credits, which are the same ones that we have always had, Bubba Joe, then a chance at uncommons, rares, and epics. And uh, each chest is going to give us one roll of credits of each rarity. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what they're doing here. So we definitely, we're going to get anywhere between 175 and 415 on the regular credits. We're going to get anywhere between 170 and 430 of the uncommon. Then we've got a 33% chance of either 80 or 115 on the rare and a 15% chance of 43 or 57 on the epic. All right, so... You are getting a roll for each rarity, but only the common and the uncommon have a guaranteed roll. I see some theories in the chat. Let's explore. Somebody says, well, this entire export faction thing is a catch-up mechanism. So let's take a look. Um, materials. Okay. Wait, are those four-star? Huh. There's four-star materials in my chest. Okay. Okay. Oh my God! There's four star parts in my. I am not wow, actually gonna. Right I'm there. not That's gonna complain about this, one, Blue. I am automatically not gonna complain about about this one. This one's garbage. Good, but it also could be easily ruined. Could be easily ruined. Officer exchange, seven of nine and Neelix. Okay, artifact. Is a... Rep isn't bad either. G4 mega chest. Materials and. Oh, I am not unhappy with that, if I'm just being straight up honest with you. But you know what? Listen, let me just say this. I I have been very vocal about the fact that there is a severe lack of G4 part availability once you hit G5. This is the first bundle in the game that lets you go back. I'm actually really, I'm not wildly unhappy with that. Okay. Style exchange. X Borg style token That's to so unlock nice. cosmetics in the X Borg store. So let's bring these style tokens down. That must be these things right here. Yeah, style unlock. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't have either of them, so maybe I'll do that one day. Monavine. Monavine parts. Fisha parts. Oh, uh, look. <laughs> look. Stella stuff. Mantis stuff. Botany Bay stuff. Defiant stuff. Meridian stuff. You know, Forbidden Tech is unfortunately the highest like price. Here's some Nanotech artifact, artifact tokens, premium isolytic. That's not a bad thing. That store is not bad with the options that we've got. I mean, obviously you can't do it all, right? It's going to cost a million credits, but those are that's not a bad selection of stuff. Now, we also just saw that I got my butt kicked when I went up against the 53. So let's take a look now at particle beam delay. This is the one that they said we have to have. Delay the particle beam of Zindi Reptilian Hostiles for, at level one, two rounds of combat. Guys, that's going to be, and that takes normal credits, right? So, let's pop this thing, Bubba so. Joe. I'm going to go up one level to the 55. What crew am I using? Right now, I'm just using loot gain. Picard, data five. There's a 53 battleship. Boy, these things are trucking. All right, this time I killed it. So let's take... No, nah, I got it everywhere it matters. This time I killed it. It looks like it took about 
5% of my hull. Maybe that might be closer to 10%. Let's take a look at the battle log. This time, look at that. I went three rounds. Oh, I'm not going to go any higher than that. The 53 is all where we're going to go. Because, look, it went three rounds, but that does mean that it delayed the particle cannon to the end of round three. So here's two, four, six, eight, ten. And then the particle cannon got delayed. So I got it after four shots or two weapons in the third round. So I definitely would not have survived a 55. Why did it lose shield here? For some reason, it started with less shield, Bubba Joe. Look at that. The doctor's below um, deck. Do you even know what you're doing? Yeah, it's the Sanctus ability. All right. Yes. Looks like I'm getting ready to die a fiery death here. So we're going to take a look at how many hostiles I'm going to end up with. Doesn't look like it's going to be more than seven or eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it'll probably be... So I'm probably going to die on this next one. I might get one more. Nope, I died on that. So I got seven kills. And let's check out how much scrap we got. I came home with 57,000. Look, I got four more chests in here. There's another 12,000 scrap and more battleship parts. So 70,000 scrap off one run. Until I get some better crit floor, I have to actually find a way to... Bubba, you were talking about this this morning. Trying to find a new crew combination to kill these hostiles without using crits. I'm actually... Uh, I'm not wildly upset about that. Let's For me. Now, just tell me. Am I in a sweet spot? Because I got 70,000 loot off one hull. Am I in a sweet spot? Because I've heard some people talking about how it's taken like five hours. I did that in five... 70,000 loot off one hull? Yeah. Look, I've only gone one time. Look. Oh, one got... hull. Oh, okay. One I thought hull. you said one Trip. ship. No, 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 no. One hull of my ship, and I got 70,000. Caution says sweet spot appears. Oh, yeah, the sweet spot is the 51 hostels. Here's what K9, T K9 Tooth did this, has done this today. Why? <laughs> Why? Because he can't. Why? Well, so to be fair, DJ, uh, in the last five or so minutes that I was grinding, uh, just to put a K9 Tooth into perspective, I got 1.2 million. So yeah. what did they do? Did they miss this down at the G4 level? Probably. So, I think there's a couple of spots that are really painful, and it really depends on your chips. So, like, okay, so I'm taking I'm taking a max G5 F. My experience isn't bad, but we do need to figure it out. I I acknowledge. I see what everybody is struggling with. So we got to get rid of that. AJ's in my case, I am Hewless. I do have the doctor below, and I have five above with Enterprise E, Picard, and Data. Okay. I believe that's the correct thing to do. I've got um I've got Bolana maxed below and okay. then just um power below. So that's what I'm running on a tier seven pylum, which is max level thirty five. I am only making it into um the forty six system and hitting three before I die. If the problem here is definitely in G four, then we we've got a way to start driving at this. We just gotta figure it out. Now, granted, okay. see, here we are at the very beginning. We're having to look. Like, I'm a 56. I'm having to hit the 51s. He's an OBS 50, having to hit the 44s. We may be overestimating our ability on this a little bit up front. Yeah, compared to the 46, the 44 has about 70% of the loot, but half of the hull. These hostels are certainly a puzzle. I'd like to say that they're challenging. Unfortunately, I think G4 players are not going to get that sensation. I, I definitely need to go back for you G4 and early G5. There definitely seems some kind of imbalance there. And I don't even know exactly what to do with it. I don't know if you increase loot, if you decrease the power of the hostel. I'm not exactly sure what you do yet because it's definitely, definitely difficult there. There is no doubt.